Okay, so, uh, today's Sunday. We have about like an inch of snow. Uh, we didn't go to church because some of our family is sick. But I'm going to take you on a tour of what my chores are. So, yay. So, one of my chores is to feed the animals and clean their poop. So, the only really animals we have is the horses. So, we have Lakota. Shuela in the back there. And then Tecumseh is somewhere oh everything is frozen so right here we put so basically we kind of redid a lot of things in the barn so we added this new floor because the old one has like had like a uh, hole right here but now we made it sturdier and we put these like cracks in the middle that way the water or like any pee or something can go down the holes and it won't sit on top of the wood and destroy it. Um, right here's Tecumseh. Right here is probably one of my favorite things. This is a warning like square, I guess. And you're probably guessing, oh, Enzo, why is that there? Well, above, we have an elevator. So, me and my dad and then one of my friends, basically the whole family, helped made this. So, all you do is you grab this remote, you press down, and it comes down. Pretty easy. And when you're done, you just let it hang. Um, but anyways, back to chores. My major chore that I kind of like and don't like is doing the poo of the horses. Although today's gonna be easier because I don't have to move the horses around. Normally, Shuela's in that pen, Lakota's in that pen, and Tecumseh's out there, but now Tecumseh's in here and no one's in that one. And yeah, it's a lot easier to do it like this. You're probably thinking, oh, well, Enzo, where do you put all of this poop shavings? Well, basically, we put it behind our barn. So behind our barn, we have this little, like, how do you explain it? Uh, little place that we dump all of our shavings. It sounds like the shavings are basically biodegradable. And they don't, they won't harm anything. They take them back here. Kind of, this is where the, uh, tractor lives right here but it's currently not here it's currently in the front of the yard so we take this back here all the way then we have to turn this thing around now this thing has a pretty cool thing to it it can kind of go it can kind of dump like the shavings, like pretty cool. If I can get back here, that would be pretty nice. But it's kind of hard to do with one hand. Maybe there we go. No, maybe I'll take it down here first, and then. I'll turn it around. Come on. Yeah, this is a... 
yeah, this is kind of the edge of our property. Kind of. <coughs> As you can tell, that's... Yeah, so this thing has like a dump mechanism to it. Really cool and easy. But then once I'm done with that, you take this, slam it back in place. Then you turn this upside down, give it a couple shakes. Oh, now it's stuck. Okay. So, once we've got this one done, then we'll do this one over here. That's our crazy doggo. Doggo. Crazy doggo. Stop it. Okay. Here we go. Wow, it really smells like horse in here. That's for sure. Right here we have the crazy black bear. One of a kind. Um, this is our eighth, ninth, eighth, ninth month old uh, Kane Corso. As you can see, he's a very big puppy. Um, he's basically like a giant bear, and he's our protector. Um, but I like him in here because, you know, he's cool. And also, he protects me, so. But we have only that little bit left of this stall. Then we gotta take that load. Then we're basically all done. Well, then we gotta get that stall, which is Tecumseh's in. Body cam film. That can film whenever. I moved to Kumsa. That way I can get in to Kumsa's stall. So that's my next job. Yay, I guess. Well, yeah, yay, I guess. So this stall is all cleared out. We can put him in there. Let's do that. Hey, Tata. Tecumseh. Come on. Tecumseh. Look, you're free. But now you gotta go in that stall over there. Go in that one, hey. Do I need to, oh. Well, I'm gonna put you guys here. There you go. Let's see. I'm just gonna, oh wait, there's the easiest one. I got the easiest one. Do I say something to do this to you? Don't be difficult. Mm -hmm. Come here. Come here, you. Thank you. Oh, ow, I hit myself. Hey, Enzo, do you have that black bag? Yeah, it's in the uh, back part. Up here? No, down, over there. Oh, hi there. Oh, hi. Hi. Got some posters in the alley. Yeah. It's a good boy. Put him in here? Yeah. Okay, I can do this. Come on.
inch of that? No. Just like this? harder because we have hay on the ground. Hey! You need to chill out. You can see your... By the way, Tecumseh has this like, like, what is it? Like trauma of like not being able to see Lakota or Shuela. So like, he has to be able to see her. Oh, she goes cray cray. Like, absolutely cray. We got a dog that is going insane. Yep, I repeat, we have a dog that's going insane. This guy is so crazy. He was like kicking the door. Yeah, he does not like like not seeing the girls. You gonna go back in there? You gonna go back in your stall? No. You wanna stay out in this one? He wants to stay in this one. Fine, brother. You can stay in this one. But, I do gotta say, you're a crazy horse. Now we're gonna give all the horses hay. Hey. I love saying that. Hey. And I also gotta get this away. That way you don't slip and fall. And I get through. Mister. No, it's not very helpful. Hello. Hey. I'm trying to get through. You're doing full 360s now, huh? Put this in here. Okay, now that we got this done, I need to get you some hay. I need to get all of you some hay. Uh, okay, so again, this elevator is actually pretty cool. So up there, we have the thing that actually powers it down to right here in the middle. And then this is the safety rope. So if this if this were to like snap or like, you know, not work and we'd start to fall, this thing would catch us. So that's why that's there. And then this, I think this is gonna be like a pulley system. But we didn't end up doing that. And here we go. to our cabin of hay. And we are here. It's really nice and easy, but sometimes, oh yeah, you guys haven't noticed yet. You guys are probably looking at this like bed, like what is that? Like, Well, this part right here used to go right here, but my mom decided to, uh, you know, move it. So now it's kind of like ruined, but not ruined. If it was ruined, then I wouldn't be able to write on it. But it's it's different. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, basically, 
up here's where we store our hay and we mostly use this just for getting up here to the hay and also putting hay up here before we used to use that door right there and we'd get like a track would we we'd get a tractor to do it. There's the cubs. You want your feed? There you go. Okay, I'm gonna set you guys right here. You want yours, Lakota? And then Shuela in the very back for Shuela. All the way back there. I'm gonna have to go on the outside of the. Damn. Give this to her. Just giving them a little snack since it's cold outside. Whoa. You know. Whoa. Wow, this snow is very slippery. Whoa. Here you go, Shuela. Now you got some hay. So that's basically my chores, or one of my chores. It's pretty fun and easy. It's peaceful, definitely. Being able to talk to the horses and stuff, very easy. So once we're done with the hay, putting, bringing the hay down here and giving it to them, then we hop on here and grab the, our little control, bring it over here, and make it go up. That way the horse can't like trip on it or anything, you know? We don't want the horse to hurt himself, so. We do that. Um, all stalls are clean. You have some hay. Okay. We're all good. So it's just very, nice to be able to come out here and do this and it's even nicer to have a barn you know and have a good floor and an elevator some of this stuff is just we're just really lucky for especially horses too so bye this was my normal chore first chore um cleaning the poo and giving them a loaf of hay, or a leaf. That's how you say it. They each get a leaf. But, bye.